Taylor Swift is returning to Kansas City after a girl's night out with Selena Gomez in New York, if she wants to, she will. The anti-hero singer took her private plane back to Kansas to reunite with boyfriend Travis Kelsey. Taylor Swift's jet spent nearly seven days' worth of time in the air during her era's tour, Jets by Data Shows. The singer's jets often flew to Nashville late at night after her concerts wrapped up, Swift has faced backlash in the past from her jet usage, but she appears to have cut back this year, gone are the days of old-school tour buses and living on the road. Now, pop stars like Taylor Swift are likely to fly straight home after a concert, Swift and her two private jets have spent the last several months crisscrossing the US throughout the first leg of her Colossal Eras tour, the singer has two multi-million dollar planes a Dassault Falcon 7X, registered N621MM under Island Jet Inc. And a Dassault Falcon 900, registered N898TS under SATA LLC. Both companies are registered to the same address as Taylor Swift Productions in Nashville, according to Tennessee Secretary of State documents. The Dassault 900 jet can carry up to 12 passengers and requires a two-person crew. The Dassault 7X has a slightly larger cabin, carrying up to 16 passengers, and is designed for longer flights. Swift appears to have bought both aircraft several years ago. The planes were registered to her holding companies in 2009 and 2018, respectively, according to FAA data. Today, a new Dassault 7X is estimated to cost about $54 million, while a new Dassault 900 has a list price of $44 million. According to Business Jet Traveler, since March, the planes have spent nearly seven days' worth of time, or about 166 hours, flying to and from Swift's concerts, according to data from aircraft tracking website JetSpy. JetSpy aggregates its flight information using ADSB data that is transmitted from several vendors and networks. ADSB is a public surveillance technology that broadcasts information like GPS location and altitude from one aircraft to another and to ground stations. The technology made headlines last year when it was used to broadcast Elon Musk's flight data on social media. Swift's jets have taken 103 flights this year. Swift's jets have taken a combined 103 flights so far this year, 86 of which have taken place since Massive Era's tour kicked off in March. A spokesperson for Swift told Insider the singer has worked to offset her jet's carbon emissions. Before the tour kicked off in March of 2023, Taylor purchased more than double the carbon credits needed to offset all tour travel, the spokesperson said. Insider was not able to independently verify this. In 2023, carbon credits cost between $40 to $80 per metric ton of CO2, according to TerraPass, a company that provides carbon offsetting products. Earlier this year, the Washington Post reported that some experts believe the majority of carbon credit programs overestimate their emission reductions. There is no way of knowing the jet's passengers for any of the flights. Both jets appear to have primarily followed locations along the singer's tour route, which kicked off in Glendale, Arizona, on March 17. The average flight during the tour has been just under two hours. The shortest flight was an eight-minute hop from a small airport in Van Nuys, California, to Burbank, California, on March 26. This could have been a pilot repositioning the plane. The longest flight was on July 2, when Swift's Dassault 7X jet flew from Groton New London Airport in Connecticut to Bob Hope Airport in Burbank. The roughly five-hour flight appeared to be part of a return trip from an airport near one of Swift's houses in Rhode Island. Swift's jets often made red-eye flights out of concert locations, on multiple occasions, both of Swift's jets made duplicate flights in one day or flew from different locations to the same destination. Swift's Dassault 900 jet typically flew to concerts from her adopted hometown of Nashville, Tennessee, and would head back after the show, the singer has homes in cities including Nashville, New York, and Beverly Hills, according to the Wall Street Journal, throughout the tour. Swift's N898 TS jet often departed from tour locations late at night, typically taking off between the hours of 11 p.m. to midnight and landing in Nashville as early as 4.38 a.m. the next day. Most of the late-night flights landed between the hours of midnight and 1.30 a.m. The second jet, N621 mm, mostly followed N898 TS, 
though it also took detours to places like Burbank, Tampa, Florida, and a New Jersey airport located about an hour's drive outside of New York City. Meanwhile, N898TS rarely deviated from the tour schedule, Swift's tour is far from over, while the first leg of Swift's Marathon Era's tour is complete, her days of jet-setting are far from over. The singer has already started touring in Mexico and one of her jets has already made a red-eye flight from Mexico City to Nashville, according to Jets by Data. She will also bring Eras to Canada, South America, Europe, Asia, and Australia. More recently, Swift announced she would return to the US for another leg of the tour later next year. Swift is one of the world's highest paid artists and her tour is set to bring in over $1 billion in sales, making it the highest grossing tour of all time, according to concert data tracker Polestar, while the lengthy tour may excite fans, her jet usage could ignite some criticism. Last year, Data from digital marketing firm Yard found the singer's Dassault 7X private jet emitted over 8,293 metric tons of CO2 in 2022, or nearly 1,200 times the average person's total yearly emissions. According to the study, at the time, Swift spokesperson said that she regularly lent the jets out. To attribute most or all of these trips to her is blatantly incorrect, the spokesperson told E. News it appears Swift has cut back on flights this year. According to the data from JetSpy, her two planes took a combined 138 flights between January 2022 and August 2022, when she wasn't on tour. That compares to the 103 total flights as of August 29th this year. This week's Taylor Swift Day, we mean NFL Sunday, has fans wondering if she'll return to Kansas City to cheer on boyfriend Travis Kelsey, the Chiefs host the Buffalo Bills at Arrowhead Stadium on Sunday, December 10. The Gears Tour performer has attended all but one of Kelsey's home games since her first appeared on September 24. She has now attended a total of five games, in which the Chiefs are 4-1, Swift is currently on hiatus from her tour, which will resume in February in Tokyo, so she could be ready to go on Sunday. Neither she nor Kelsey have publicly commented on whether she will participate in the game. Before the game, fans were wondering if another celebrity might be at the Chiefs Bills game, actress and singer Haley Steinfeld. Who is rumored to be dating quarterback Josh Allen Bills, Steinfeld appeared to attend a Bills game in October, after the pair sparked romance rumors in May. Today.com reached out to Steinfeld for comment on the upcoming game, this isn't Swift and Steinfeld's first meeting. In 2015, the Pitch Perfect 2 actor appeared in the Bad Blood music video, which was recently re-released on 1989, Taylor's version, who needs the Super Bowl when you can have Haley Steinfeld and Taylor Swift at the Bills vs. Chiefs game on December 10, one fan posted on X. Swift last attended the Chiefs' December 3 game against the Green Bay Packers in Wisconsin. Gymnast Simone Biles was also there to support her husband. Jonathan Owens, who packed the safety, it has become something of an expectation for the love story singer to attend Chiefs games. Swift confirmed their relationship in an interview with Time to celebrate her 2023 Person of the Year title, this all started when Travis introduced me in a very adorable way on his podcast which I thought was fucking metal, she told Time, describing the beginning of their relationship. We started hanging out right after that. She added, when I went to that first match, we were already a couple. 